Hello everybody, it's Bunny here. How are we all doing today? Back. Might hear the kitties in the background because they're at home. Back with a day two for my birthday bias. Ages! So, there are a lot of Save Matthews on here. From when I last on. Now while we wait for it to load. <laughs> of course. So we approach the food court and I'll, I'll, oh my god, evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. Lol, bloody hentai. Not a bloody hentai. We're just going to the mall with the daughter. Psycho, my love. Hello, Pluto. How to do? Did it not change? Oh, you son of a dream daddy! Hi, Saga. Hi, B. Happy birthday week. Thank you. Dang it! I must have forgot to save it. <laughs> Hello. Um, what are you? Hi, cryptic. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? <laughs> I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honour of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. How are we all doing? Good to see yous. Thank you. Thank you, Cryptic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I might have to move that a little bit. I'm still working on the overlay, it's like new for me. So I gotta move things around still. <laughs> well, let free It did not! It did nothing of the sort. What are you talking about? And then I got one for B2, please. There we go. Cool clips. I'm sure I've. Oh my god, bouncing boobies! Thanks. I just had to do that quickly. Yeah! <laughs> Bubes. There we go. Sorry, I had to click on up. Yep, yeah, that's for subscribing. And could you subscribe to me? I'm going to enter you into my mystery Steam code giveaway. So that's two. I'm just going to write that down before I forget it because I always forget stuff. Bubes. Pluto's already in there because she's still within the month I s specified. Oh, I forgot there's a giveaway! 
No! Why? Uh, why did you do a sing mode on the bat? Oh, you evil little crapper. Oh, it's timer. Oh, nice. Now I've got to sing my words. Holy hecka. What was that? I dropped something. <sighs> you encourage people to make me stop swearing. Stop! I've already been battled with like hentai sounds and frickin' singing and blinds and oh my god, all the things. Alright. Five minutes. <clears throat> we ordered a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese. From a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in Yes, come on vocals You'll never stop swearing cryptic These are bad, these are very bad But also strangely delicious We have to eat through the pain we enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together Until we're all out of nachos, hello radar How's it going dude? I have to when people make me <laughs> Evil is what cryptic is So something's been bothering me for a while Can you explain memes to me? Cryptic, such a submissive hmm. Say which meme? All, oh, all oh, memes. A man sighs deeply and places her hand in her head in her hands. This is so hard to do. <clears throat> Dad is complicated. See, memes are an inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of us yous have already done the joke to death. And now I've got a post check. Back up straight, head up high. Hands to the sky and stretch it out of light. I'm loving this meme song. <laughs> and what's worse than that is that Movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on <coughs> a meme train. <coughs> but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. <coughs> Cracking. So it just dates it and it isn't funny. Oh shit, what up, Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to their golf store? Mm -hmm. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment. I don't even don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets, basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. Mm. Do you gotta be more specific? The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one! Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her She makes a beeline for the back There it is! You can see the outline kinda I'm so proud Speech! Amanda! Right. Speech! 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 Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting Damn, gotta go and get second jabs See ya a bit later no worries, Rado. See you later. On. <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that will never, forever shape. 
history On a day very much like today Some five years ago Our very own Amanda and Woods Had too much blue raspberry slushy On an outing to the mall After begging her father to take her to Dead Gotham Beyond To buy rainbow suspenders she, pr she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Huh. Let's see how we're going. And that will have to do. Thank you. Alright. There you go, Cryptic. Is this for the rest of the stream? The answer should be yes. No, no, that's too long. Well, yeah. <laughs> five minutes. It's always the five minutes. The five minutes. <laughs> Bloody hell. No! <laughs> it's over! <laughs> I get so tongue-tied trying to read things and like sing it at the same time. I'm sorry, B. It's all over. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> not the sadness. Oh, thank you, though. Thank you. It's all good. <laughs> See, Amanda's moved too. She even said. Back in the box. No, I will not return to my box. <laughs> she begins clapping slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Ten. Right. <laughs> oh, I got the sad piano. <laughs> oh, the sadness. Oh, hey, chain wallets. Chain wallets. Did anyone ever have a chain wallet? Uh, while Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a day to look at in a dead goth and beyond. Yeah, the sadness. Oh. <laughs> Who bad at me? Bad. Uh, so peruse the band t-shirts, look at ironic mugs, or check the clearance bin for hot deals. I could make her sing again. Oh my god. Um, why? <laughs> Somebody pack one of these first. Before that happens, I'm gonna have a drink then. I think. <laughs> Bad time to have a drink. Bad time to have a drink. <coughs> Bloody hell! This is not even a scary thing and it came out of nowhere. So, band t shirts, mugs, or a clearance bin? The first one. Alright, let's look at band t shirts. I barely know any of these bands. Cannibal Bone Party doesn't seem like music I enjoy, but they must be really happy that a retail outlet is carrying their merchandise. You son of a! I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you back. One more time. <laughs> I guess bring it! Ooh. I'll wait till this finishes and then I will push the five minutes again. Hello, hello. Hi, Triforce Bunny! I'm still gonna call you that. <laughs> oh, we got some dark funk in there, eh? <laughs> yeah. Alright, five minutes. Here we go. I hope their parents are really proud of them. Look, this is very important to me. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that, don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Oh my. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of the Wardian dressage. 
sorry I'm a little late everyone, I just saw a movie, that's alright. <clears throat> Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Hmm. <clears throat> Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager, I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man wheels around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they were Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. The new Wes Anderson film, The French Dispatch. Hmm, interesting. Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Hey, Datron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Well, that was easy, thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings a man up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes. So hard I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien, he's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands a man to her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. Right, I'm saving. Oh no, please God, you are what this game is going to be forever a musical to me now. Oh dear, I don't have the points to make her sing again. Good. <laughs> we make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh cool, long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Oh hell yes! They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Saving the points is a very smart choice in my opinion. Thanks. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Cullum and Flint, Dog Bone. The twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Canadian Tundra. <laughs> I was about to type that too, bunny. <clears throat> oh no, the ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steer them. They're damn ice roads. <coughs> Sorry. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die! Ah, I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, You're going to die. Mm. That's because we're about to die, you! This is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. And that is done. There you go! Another five minutes of me singing. This time it was... Victorian, Edwardian, and ghost hunting trucker things. Or a game. Phasmo spin-off. Ooh. I want that to be a real show, Phasmo spin-off. Right, where am I up to? Right, saving another 400 points. Beautiful. Thank you. Top tier singing. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, my gosh. It's the ice road hunting brother track ghost finder thingies. I stay up a little longer curious about the exploits of Cullum and Flint Dogbone. <laughs> 
After the disastrous ice road accidents afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys crack me up. <clears throat> Just... Aegis! Why you do the thing you dude? To the five dollar bloody hell, Aegis. Thank you, though. You don't need to, but thank you, though. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. Oh, here we go. Here's Trina. <laughs> I'm here. You're welcome. I love your, I love your like entry, eh? <laughs> That's how I know it's you. I get disappointed if it's not you. Nah. <laughs> Hello, how you doing, Trina? You've never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. Did I hear you singing? What? Pardon? No. No, never. Never, never ever do I sing. What are you talking about? Cryptic shush! <laughs> uh, we have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. <laughs> I will not be silenced! <laughs> so, you excited for the cookout today? So, are we excited to beef up my grilling skills? If there's food, I'm excited, or air. Boobs, apparently! I heard it. I heard the boobs. There's the boobs. Alright. Um, so... One, two, or three. You guys can choose for me. Only bunnies go in the box. Put the bunny <laughs> back in the box. No. No, I will not be put in the box. You can't make me do it. <clears throat> I'm excited about food. Okay, if there's food, I'm excited. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Mm. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. <laughs> there we go, we got the two. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighbourhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. I'm hungry now. Ah. We're, we're always hungry. Sugar cookies? Yes! <laughs> Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from that cocoon. From the cocoon. The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. What? No! We have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? Oh, there goes the nom nom cookies. You know what? We're going early. Just because you said that. Don't all cookies have sugar? <laughs> <laughs> um, I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Hmm. Oh yes, and if you're entering the giveaway, make sure you're in the Discord as well. And we got a crab rave. Unless you're the mad lad that bakes them with salt. Ooh. Sorry, kiddos. Uh, but these have more over sugar. More sugar. Oh, the sugar. Sugar to the sugar. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Hmm. 
Let's just do my little dance. Brown, 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 brown. Uh, done that once. I won't make that mistake again. Not the salted cookies! I'll just have a little jam. With the waving kitty things. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a is that a baby something? Is that a baby something? What is that? What did that be? Ha! Uh, small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. That is such a weird one. What is that? I set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh? I guess people like their vegetables. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you bought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Hi. I don't know, but looks funny. <laughs> it's, like, it's like shaky baby. Shaky baby boosters. Uh, this is Christian and Chrissy. They're twins. They stare creepily and say nothing. Yeah. Evil. That's an April Fool's joke. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. Wait, where is Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. <laughs> it was me, half asleep. Oh, and how can I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Hmm. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? Hmm. I'll have to go look for him. Uh. What? You have to... Uh. Joseph takes a moment and regains his compo composure. Where's the baby? I'm back. I had to join Discord. Huh? Oh, good try for us. No worries. Thank you for that. Oh, and Trader has claimed the giveaway for the NZ only one because it's a physical thing. It's physical so I can send it. So, got one of these ones. I got three of these to give away. The bun bun. Is pink shirt guy one of the daddies? Yes, he's one of the daddies. Thank you for the hydrate. So I put Trina in there. There you go. All right. Uh, Mary, this is our new neighbor. Matthew and his daughter, Amanda. Mm. Uh, shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Look at our thick boy daddy. Look, he's got the pink beard. Pink shirt, pink beard, who knows? Oh my god, so cute! <laughs> Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Yeah, I'm only doing local for physicals at the moment just because of postage costs. I mean, one day I'll be able to do one that can go anywhere. I will send bunnies all over the world. Oh. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, my wife has a wonderful sense of humour, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Gotta do dishes, so I'm lurking. No worries, Trina, it's all good. <sighs> Gotta clean those plates so you can have more snacks, right? It'll be a bunny invasion. Yes. Here, let me introduce you around. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. Look at Robert. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. Hey. Hey, I'm Matthew. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. Matthew and his daughter just moved in next door. Cool. If you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I told you not to call me Rob. Oh. Right. Got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. Hmm? He's not really a people person. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. <laughs> Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Sorry, I've got the kitties in the background. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. 
I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who, who are you going to party with when I go off to school? But I want to have... What? I don't want to... I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Hmm. I don't know why I read that as something else. Dad! Ugh, this gonna... They're gonna talk about weather. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. <laughs> okay, just took away. This is my new dad. <laughs> Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? What a cool guy. What a cool guy and mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't it the guy who was throwing a fit in dead goth and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac. That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Who should we talk to? Robert and Brian, Matt, Hugo and Craig, or Joseph and Damien, or just eat a burger? Which daddy, uh, daddies are we going to introduce ourselves to? Well, I have a few things to get to, so have a great date and stay safe, everyone. You two Triforce, have an amazing day. And thank you for coming in. It's the daddy cul-de-sac. Later, dude. Alright. Which daddies are we going to talk to? Robert's the cool one. Brian's the competitive one. Matt's coffee. Hugo's teaching. Craig is our best friend from skill. Uh, then you got Joseph the pink shirt and Damien the goth man. Or Eda Burger. Have a good rest of your day. Four. Burger? You just want to eat a burger? Are we going to be a lonely daddy? One, two, three, four. Burger. Really? Oh. Burger is always the answer. Well, fear. Burgers are good. And without further ado, let's work some magic. Oh, sorry. I already picked Pluto. Oh, no. Pink shirt. Uh, Joseph closes his eyes takes a deep breath and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It e it's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't know this, Matthew, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. <laughs> he's ungrillable. Oh no, he's the dad puns. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. Hmm. Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the artist? Yeah. I've never seen him make a mistake. Ah. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love those. All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. Yeah. Alright guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Oh, oh lord. <laughs> Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Kinda nice, isn't it? Feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. <coughs> We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. 
If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Oh. Hey, why don't you add us all on Dad Book? Dad Book? Oh. Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Ah. We're gonna get us some Dad Book. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. Dead book! <laughs> the rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. I think they want her soul. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? Oh, well, here we go. One, two, three. I mean, I got a burger in me. I feel like I was at a networking event. Wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. One, two, three. We'll see who puts the first one in for one, two, or three. Remember, this is everybody's daddy, and everyone must choose how this daddy goes. I leave the choices in everyone's hands. I mean, everyone chose how he looks. <clears throat> I may give others a chance. Yep, yeah, all good. Because you just answer everything. Your investment in Matthew. Hmm. Three. Oh, there we go. B said three. <laughs> Pluto's, Pluto's thinking and then out hops B. <laughs> You and Daisy seem like you were having a way better time than I was. Yay, I wanted three. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I think I'll do three. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> um, yeah. Because we were. Hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will if I ever figure out how social media works. Paranormal is the way to go. Absolutely. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Drink plenty of water. Oh. I was gonna say, I just I just got cheered at. I cannot I cannot with Dad book, lol. Thank you for the cheers, cryptic. <clears throat> As the bunny farts it out, you know. Uh, such dud. Hello, iconic. Come to check out the daddies, have you? Sad dad. Sad dad. <laughs> oh, my lordy. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Mm -hmm. You got it. And be careful. I will make good choices. Hmm. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Oh. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No. I've never done that. <clears throat> and I will never do that. Uh, nope, not a fan of daddies. <laughs> okay, do you have plans tonight? I guess you won't be using dad book then, Iconic. <laughs> I, uh, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna work on some stuff, see how long I can sleep for, or throw a party. One, two, or three. <laughs> choices, choices, choices. What are we doing tonight? Let the first pick choose. First choose pick, pick, choose pick. Party time. I know that's what you want to pick.
That one more time is going to get me. Are we working on stuff? Sleeping or throwing a party? I know Cryptic wants to throw a party. Either two or three. Sleeping or partying? <clears throat> okay, we've narrowed it down. Oh my god. <clears throat> Bloody hell, my vocals are mounted. Party! Okay, we're throwing a party. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. There we go, we got a crab rave. I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list, but honestly, it's looking tight and you may just have to wait in line. I know the guy at the door. I'll get in no problem. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great, see you later. I watch Amanda drive off in the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Oh my god, these make me hungry. I love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. Like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now. In which case, I hope she doesn't respond soon because I definitely taught her better than I, better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's like late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, see now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. She's still in crack, I reckon. <laughs> oh, God. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell are not only not a... Yep, yeah, are not a... Not only not a swage... Swaging? My anxiety, but... Possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Call the cops! <laughs> Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? <clears throat> Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? I decided to send an her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God. It's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally. Finally, she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup. Sweetie, thank God you're uh. safe. Ugh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops, guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann! Whoa, we're pulling up the middle name now. Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go out of school, are you? Okay. I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. One, two, or three. What's it gonna be? Four. I'm sorry, but there's no option four. One, two, or three. I still pick four. <laughs> Freaking hell, cryptic. Grown the little honky. Hmm, two. What? Okay, I don't know if I should. 
and do that too. Okay. I have a right to be concerned. You're my only daughter. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You shouldn't have to be giving me a curfew in the first place. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You, re you really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Ha. <sighs> uh, my ground. Ha ha. My bad. I'm a little delayed since I'm on my phone. Oh, no oh. worries. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed now. It's all good, Pluto. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. <clears throat> Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey, I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... Bro, my phone's autocorrect. Autocorrect is on another level today. I'm sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Good. <laughs> One, two, three. <clears throat> Lol, sure. Blame the autocorrect. Yes. Blame the autocorrect. Just while we were waiting for our one, two, or three. Remember, it's my birthday bash and I'm having a giveaway, so you'll see some little thingies in the channel points thingy. Also, you get two entries if you subscribe, you get an entry if you spend like a hundred or more bits on stuff. And it's for the mystery steam code giveaways. Or if you're local, you can enter for the physical entry which gets drawn tomorrow. <clears throat> hmm. And yeah. Let's pull out a different colour one. I showed you the pink one. Here's an orange one. Nani? Oh, there we go. There goes iconic for the giveaway. There we go, put you down. I put you down. Right, I'm sorry for freaking out on you. Is it not playing again? Oh my god, my channel sound alerts are broken! I have to figure out why they keep breaking. They're enabled and everything, but they just keep not working. This is why I have like free sound alerts as backup. I have to try and figure that out why it's not working. And thanks for the fart. <laughs> uh, you're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked mm -hmm. up. Team Woods? That's annoying. Mine does the same. Huh. Weird. I'll take a look after the stream. Yeah, because I checked it last night and it said it was enabled, so I don't know what happened. Team Woods. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on him. <coughs> Take a look at what? Hello, Mew Mew. How to do do? How's workies? Already did. Yeah. Bless you. And man scarfs down the eggs in, in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's Dad Book? Ugh. It's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Mm. All right, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Oh. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Oh. All right, Pops, we got to fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes.
So, let's get some options. Finish and riding home. All good. Alright, let's fill out the dad book. Never trust a iconic chaos. Nah. <laughs> I was like, thought process. So on a Friday night, you were most likely to polish and sort my queen collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. Torment my children with dad puns. Or sink into blissful oblivion. Netflix and grill, what? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Bad Aegis. Netflix and grill, baby. <laughs> ah! Don't use the channel points, it's not working for some reason. Who screamed at me? Serially. How rude. Low, 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 low. Yes, Netflix and grill. Okay, on a Friday night, we're Netflix and grilling. Um. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert, did the deja vu work one that time? Work one that time. Work one that time. Work that time. Oh my god, words. It worked it. That was weird. Hi, Mr. V. We're filling out our dad book for our thick daddy to find his daddy daddy. Um, if you had one thing to take with you on a desert, desert island, what would it be? My trusty grill. The Lost Shaker of Salt. Castaway on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. Oh good. A boat, obviously. Don't need anything. My survivor skills have trained me for this day. A boat, obviously. Oh no, we got Mew in here and he's addicted to this. Oh. Yeah, we're here for the sass. Yes. A boat. Yep, I chose the boat. Okay. So, a boat, obviously. What are your turn-ons? Here's a good one. Should do some voties on this one. Turn ons. So strong dead arms. Tennis shoes with long white socks. A well manicured lawn. Street smarts. Top tier groomanship. Comfortable with crying. What are our daddy turn ons? Let's see those lists. And we'll go with which one is most. Oh look, comfortable crying, strong dad arms from Mr. V. <clears throat> what else have we got out there? A hydrate? I just finished having a drink and I gotta hydrate again. <laughs> Thank you. Or comfortable with crying. So you like the strong daddy arms and the comfortable? Chat seems thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> the chat seems thirsty. <laughs> we'll see what Pluto says. Oh, she says laugh my ass off. Oh, okay. I mean, strong dad arms are good too. Chat always thirsty, cryptic. All right, Pluto, you're going to have to break it if no one else wants to pick one. I wish you could choose two. <laughs> Comfortable crying in those strong daddy arms. Yeah. Hydrating now, cryptic. We have more than two turn-ons, okay? <laughs> right, bunny? I'm also going with the arms, okay. Tennis shoes. <laughs> Tennis shoes. Freaking tennis shoes. <laughs> Alright, let's get these strong dad arms. Alright, what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh lordy. Technical writer for manuals and instructions. 
a salty boat captain, pro skater who is also an astronaut, a good father, the president of space. What did we want to be when we grew up? Salty boat captain. Boat captain. Oh, that's two on the boat. Pro skater astronaut. President of space. No other answer. <laughs> pro skater. <laughs> pro skating. <laughs> oh, polluted. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Or president of space. <laughs> I was waiting for that. As soon as I saw space, I instantly thought of you, Pluto. I was like, hmm. <laughs> oh no, because now I've got now I've got two spaces and two boat captains. Oh, who's gonna break this up? Mr. V, where are you? We need a tiebreaker. Mr. V must break the tie. A boat captain or president of space? I can change my answer if need. <laughs> Freaking Mew Mew! Oh, Pluto's all about space. About the space. Oh, Pluto's all about the space. About the space. Dicks! Dicks! <laughs> I was just saying that out and then I just like dicks in my ear. What the hell? Alright. I'm saying salty boat captain. Here for the salt. Oh, okay. So that wasn't your answer. Yes, salty boat captain. We are a salty boat captain. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Okay, war documentaries. Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on Laserdisc. Romantic comedies. Whatever will make me cry. Or old comedies that haven't aged well. Sorry, Pluto. Sorry, Pluto. I give up crying. I did give up crying, though. Lol. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> I like how he uses this guess He's like, hmm, how, how are we going to make this daddy? Damn, no horror. Rom-coms. Got one for the rom-coms. Be right back in a couple minutes. Gotta put up my work stuff. All good. All good, Pluto. Crying movies. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, kitties in the background. So you gave up your um, comfortable with crying to go into crying movies, B. And we got some rom coms. E. What? E. E. Crying movies. E. A, B, C, D, E. Oh! I was like, what's E? What's E? Okay, we're going with whatever will make me cry. Okay, ideal ideal date, everyone. Ideal date. Sean Connery. <laughs> uh, napping together. Doing a thousand piece of puzzle together. Eating a healthy dinner at 4pm. Trying to geocache, but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. Or being emotionally vulnerable. Oh, look at these guys with the arson. Oh, I, I guess I, I, I guess our ideal date is arson. By a landslide. <laughs> napping. B comes in. Napping. We must nap together. And the boys are like, arson. The state. <laughs> we must, the state's on fire. Burn it all down. I know I'm outvoted, but got to give my... Plus the sleeping lol. Puzzle! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone got everyone got like chucked out with the whole arson business. <laughs> Bloody Aegis and Mew and Cryptic with their arson. Hey Cryptic, are we going on a date and we're gonna do some arson, are we? Alright, I knew the others would, so I had to go with the crowd, yes. Okay. What do you never leave home without? A sensible cardi. My sick vape, my book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my crippling low self-esteem. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. <laughs> my crippling low self-esteem. <laughs> a cool knife. Got one on a cool knife. Feeling edgy, are we? 
Oh wow! My crippling low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. I have two for the low self-esteem. Three for the low self-esteem. Well, the way I see it, we've got five here at the moment, so... Four. Four for it. Alright. My crippling low self-esteem. Spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. How proud I am of my child. Poten potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. When I can next get a cup of coffee or lawn mower modifications. Aegis has not... E Aegis has not esteem. <laughs> Why does that seem so hard to say? It just has not a steam. Potential ends of the world. Ends of the world. A grill. Ends of the world. <laughs> Pluto comes flying in. Ends of the world. <laughs> I love how you used to, like yell out the ones you like the most. Eh? <laughs> ends of the world. It seems to be. Oh, it's complete! It is complete! We have completed our dad book! See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. We're gonna burn the world down! Right. What are we, like a salty sea captain who likes arson in the ends of the world? <laughs> but that's how we travel, by boat. Uh... You should message one of them, or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Yes, message all the daddies. All the daddies. <clears throat> Welcome. You've got dads. <laughs> You've got dads. Excuse me. Dad Manda. <laughs> Hi Matthew, it's me, your dear old friend from way back in the day. Dad Manda, I'm delighted to see you've signed up for Dad Book. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads, like myself. Take care not to miss them. <laughs> Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on Dad Book? Why Matthew, I never. We've known each other since business school. How could you possibly confuse me for your amazing and talented and well and easy to buy things for a daughter? Though I am of course flattered, you should buy Amanda more things. You've got dads. You gotta have options. Oh my god, you've got dads. Ooh, Craig. Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait, no. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Ha, huh, I knew you'd pick Craig. Burn, burn this earth with a sea of fire. Too predictable. <laughs> totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? I declined to comment. Cool. Okay. So, Craig, Matt, Brian, Robert, Joseph, Hugo, and Damien. And obviously, Mr. V wants to get himself some Craig. Shall we all start with a bit of Craig? Matt. What? Matt Matthew? I'll throw a vote for Craig for Mr. V. Damien! <laughs> Damn, this shows what kind of daddies you guys look for now. <laughs> Thanks, bunny. So, Craig, Matt, and Damien. Craig's got two votes right now. Give it a little bit, and then... But Craig is mine, just so we're clear. Oh, <laughs> uh, lol, he's all yours, Mr. B. Right, give it another 10 seconds. Awesome. 
And voting is closed and we are going to Craig. Craig Craig Khan. So let's see. Dad of three, business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast, juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. I'm at my cringe point of the game, so I'm surfing with Mr. V. <laughs> On a Friday night, he likes... Oh! Um, get one last good cardio session in. On a desert island, he'll take a box of energy bars. <clears throat> uh, his turn-ons is a sub six minute mile. Uh, he wanted to be a beer pong world champion when he grew up. His favorite movie genre is buddy cop movies. Ideal date, scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. Uh, what do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. We didn't get these options. No, we didn't. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time thinking about my mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? He wouldn't be compatible with my napping idea. <laughs> no, he is full on. Is he, is he still your daddy, Mr. V? Seems like he would give you a workout. Definitely ain't my type with those hobbies. <laughs> Be like, come on Pluto, climb that mountain. <laughs> He'll be like, I'll just space out. I think Mr. V would enjoy a workout with Craig. Okay. Oh. Penis. Are we on the same page for the kind of workout we're talking about? What are you all about? All right, I'm going to message Craig. Here we go. Freaking cryptic. Seriously. Glad you enjoy these sounds. <laughs> Dad tip 60, uh, 56, go ask your mother. We're partly compatible. The buddy cop movies might be a deal breaker. <laughs> I wonder what Craig's up to today. I never go to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Lol, not that mountain excursion. Ugh. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but uh, it'll still be fun. <clears throat> no, I would be down for that. A mountain excursion. I think for a moment. This could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! Yeah. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she'd been crying. Hey, are you alright? Oh, fine. yeah, I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed off in movies to elicit emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the respect that they deserve. That's not right. Oh, well, it's happening. Hello, I just woke up from a bed. Hi, Amelia. How's it going? So are you sure that's all you're upset about? You have to tell me what's actually wrong. Dogs deserve better than this. One, two, three. Let us see where we go. Oh right, we got a whole bunch of threes right there. Three, three, three. Dogs are so bitter. Dogs do Every time a dog is introduced in a movie, I get nervous because nine times out of ten, that dog is going to die by the end. My doggy voted. Aww. I can watch a movie where people die and be unfazed. The moment a dog dies, I'm out. Gosh. Sad dog death movies take up. A whole genre. There are too many. 
It's dog exploitation. But seriously, or change the subject? One or two? One. Good, just tired. I have a bad dream and the dream is real. In the dream, a glass hit my stomach and in real life, no glass, but I feel the pain. It's, it's a bit strange and out of it, but I hope you're okay. Um, one, seriously. Uh, you know, you can talk to me about anything, alright? Yeah, that's why I'm talking about sad dog stuff with you. Okay, just... Remember that it's okay to be sad, and also remember that I love you very much, and I only want what's best for you. That's all. all right, all right, jeez, don't make me cry again. I only sleep for three hours. Well, I hope you get some more sleep, Amelia. I mean, you got all your studying and everything that you got to do, so you need to get some rest. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goal for the future. I'll take a closer look at her collage. There's a lot of dogs. Hmm. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Oh. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yes. Uh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic s sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye determined. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Are you in NZ, Amelia? Are you in New Zealand? I just saw you claim a birthday bash thing. I just like to um, double check and make sure where everyone's from that they're um, clicking the right thing for the giveaway that I got. Uh, Amanda and I might take, make the short drive out to the local softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Dad. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. <sighs> I guess this is what what kind of date it would be like to go on with Craig. Softball. For nostalgia purposes, of course, not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Mm -hmm. Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has rivers strapped to his chest. As per usual, there's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Uh, reading the kids' brightly coloured jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks! I just bought it. I don't want it. I just want to buy, but I don't want it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> there are some other things you, you're able to redeem to for sound effects and other things. Oh. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda, square up. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard, despite their name. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot. It's cathartic? Words! Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? <laughs> three. As soon as I saw the word sacrifice, I knew you were going to say three. Do you ever feel that when you're reading a lot, you drink a lot? Uh, me and my friend plan to play SCP multiplayer, but sh she have to do some work. Oh, that's alright. Maybe you guys can play later. Pluto wants to say having fun. 
It's important that you're having fun. And what are you willing to sacrifice? You must sacrifice if you want to win. <laughs> okay, we have having fun and sacrifices. Somebody pick at what at a, at a two and three because those are the options we seem to be having at the moment. Two. Oh, we got two. Having fun. Sacrifice the better. Oh my lordy. I'll vote with Pluto this time. Okay. It's important that you're having fun. Go friendship and kindness. Go friendship and kindness. Oh, we got another two anyway, so it would have been that. Dude, could you kick it up a notch? Maybe throw some spice on that papaya. Sure thing, honey. I believe in you, Miranda! <laughs> we watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for her major leagues yet. But Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. <laughs> I can honestly just imagine, like, when the when our girls get older or something, if they ever do sports or something, there is going to be yelling of sacrifices. I just know that's going to happen. Uh, Kickstand Craig is good with children. Whoa. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a flying ball out into centre field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. See? It's a completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off of the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. They will know that in order to win, sacrifices must be made. Bloody hell. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement. I caught the ball. You saved me. <laughs> I caught the ball, Dad! I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda! I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything! Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching would uh, really understood. Sacrifices. Proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team has declared the victors. Victors? The victors. We sit patiently at the, as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's, take, who's talking with some of the other parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off. Woohoo! We did it! I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Blair, what, a Briere and a Hazel? Briar? Is it Briar? Briar. Briar. It's some more twins. There's so many twins everywhere. Hello. Hey, killer players out there. Aww. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Oh. Good. Looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her mass tests, and I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Bri- I'm Briar. <laughs> what? We will talk about this later. <laughs> Bear. Thanks, Pluto. Matthew, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Look at that pink beard. That pink fucking beard. Okay. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. 
Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, oh I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would we have with that art our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? What? It's a real place. Thirsty's Pizza? Ya yeah, thirsty mom. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear piled in, out of the minivan onto the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Ooh, that sounds good. Ah, pizzacos. I can never forget pizzacos! How do we survive college? Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. I want pizzacos! I want a pizzaco! Hey, give me a pizza that. No, absolutely not. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Dad. Different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been hard. What? It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Thirsty moms! Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a manoeuvre to lighten the conversation. I think they need to hydrate. Yes. They need some hydration for them pizzacos. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Create a diversion. Tag team with Amanda. Smoke screen Martha. And hydrate for me. <clears throat> a diversion, a tag team, or a smoke screen. I agree. Hydrate. Well, I'm getting close to unhydrations. Alright, um, create a diversion. Cheers. Hold up. Cheers. One, 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 one. We're creating a diversion. <laughs> Alright, let us create a diversion. I pull out the first thing that comes to mind. Who watched Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers last night? What? Cullum and Flint Dogbone visited a truck stop that was also a cemetery and led an, ex an exorcism of a ghost that was haunting the hot dog grill. I nudge Amanda for support. There was also a demon haunting one of the bathroom stalls and it kept throwing poop on the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for that, but still... Quality television. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that either. Wow. We have so much in common. It was a gin! <laughs> it was a gin! Damn. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So, I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover. Yep. They're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady is really going for gold. Hey. Ha, it's actually, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. 
Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear if we have to buy it. Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew. Finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Mm. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Mm. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you would, could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Hey. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Aye. Sorry dudes, duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. So good buddy. He's gonna do a dance off by the look of it. Craig runs off with his daughters and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on Pinball? Oh, snap! Oh no, we're at the third wheel. He's, he's with everybody else. What kind of, what kind of date is this? No, you know it. Amanda and I pull out, pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the Pinball Wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. Hiya, my, li my little llama llama. How you doing, Tripolito? Hope you're having a good day. And immediately she gets a multi ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey, bun bun. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, yeah, I'm having a good day. Hanging out with all of you because you are all awesome. And yeah, we did some dad book. <laughs> we're trying to get on a date with Craig, but we're kind of the third wheel. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah? We went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. Huh? So interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God! All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Whoa. You stone harpy! What? Dad. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda? Hey. Bro! What's going on? Hmm. Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. Oh, he's trying to get out with us. Going to have a nap. Have fun, sleepies. Sleepies. I'll have a good nap, Sissy. Well, thank you for coming in. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place. Finally! We've got some Craig time. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Mm -hmm. Ooh! We're on a field. The stars are out. The big lights are on. The serene music. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Mm. Up for some catch. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it. But sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Hmm. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. 
Man, fatherhood is strange. Mm -hmm. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my kickstand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Reminiscing about it. Reminiscing? <laughs> Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rear horizontal kickstand. Mm -hmm. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, here we go. We've got choices. Ask about coaching softball. Ask about the business. Ask about the kids. That's enough for now. Oh dear. What are we going to talk to Craig about in this little moment of ours? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. Pluto is thinking. Hmm. One. Oh, there's Bunny with the one. Some softball coaching. I think I'm going to go with one, two. Oh, we got two for one. Might have to do this. Don't know what happens to Mr. B. It's supposed to be his Craigie. Five. Ah, cryptic. What do I do with you? Right. Woo! Oh! One was a good choice. Did you see those fluttering hearts? So, is softball coach the life you wanted? Or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports. But no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. There'd be a riot. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They'll take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. Okay, ask about the business, ask about the kids, or that's enough. Or should we just go through the whole list? It seems like we can just talk about all the things. But he got some heart in his... Look at River just staring, staring into our souls right now. It's hardcore staring at us. May as well do them all. Okay. We've got some heart lovins here. So, you run a business now? Yep. Uh, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly. But we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like it'll make a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rip your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. oh. <laughs> that is a glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. Ask about the kids. Oh, them little hearts. Yeah, whole list. We're going for the whole list. I can't believe you're a father of three. Neither can I. You know me. I am an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids when um, when Briar and Hazel were born. Foxy breathed in my ear? When these children were born, how came Foxy? Um, it all finally made sense. It was like, all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. Demon twins. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me. And I would still be proud of the life I lived. That wasn't what I expected for the foxy sound. <laughs> I, I, I think I know what you mean. <laughs> it's nice out here. Quiet. 
Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit. Chris, Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Peace and quiet. That's hot. Hot silence. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Oh, he's got secrets. Who who like napping? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, he went straight there. That's some fantasy right there. Oh! <laughs> But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. <laughs> Bee money. He's yours, lol. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear you. So, the moms can hit on me all they want. But the girls are my top priority. Okay. Now we've got new options. You're doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on by moms. Okay, I think this is a one choice option. You're doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. <laughs> hit softballs. Don't get hit on by moms. <laughs> three and one. Oh, we got a three and a one. Oh god, I got a G eyeball. Oh, we got two ones. You're doing a great job. Great job, everybody. Give it a few more seconds, see if we get any more in, and then I will push a button. And you're doing a great job. Oh, oh, the hearts. Those kids love you, and to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down right. Oh. Thanks, bro. Oh. That means a lot coming from you. Those owls. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball, and it hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. I need booty shrimp! <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on a second. Hang on a second. There you go. There you go, Pluto! <laughs> Craig spends a moment examining my head. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. You would be so lucky. That was planned. I mean, kissing is for the week. Oh my. Did he really just throw a softball out of head to give us a kiss? One, two. That was planned. I mean, oh, it was a setup. <laughs> it was all set up all along. Oh, we got the twos. Got twos. Give it a fuse. Give it a fuse, and then looks like it might be the twos. Two. Oh, we got twos. Oh, hello, Trina. Twelve. We got twelve. <laughs> we got a twelve. Right. I mean. 46. Oh my god. I feel like I've earned it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you. Oh. Well. Oh. Oh! Oh my lordy we... Did we just got egg... Did we just get eggplants? And squirties? And hearts? Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Walk it off, champ. 
Oh, we got all the hot stuff. Cute. <laughs> Are the, the lights on this softball field really hot or is it just me? I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hey, little buddy. He must be getting tired, huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so you get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Mm. Oh man. Yeah, could you imagine the look on their our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stro- Like we were out for a penis! Okay! Nope, not a stroll. Okay. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with- Oh, well, we had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. The longest... Longest... <coughs> Dicks. Longest 30 minutes of my life. I'm going to go to class. Alright, Amelia. Have a good one. Have a good day in class. Man, college. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. <laughs> Never enough time, huh? Boobs. <laughs> oh my god, Trina! Guess not. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I'd like that. Ooh, got cozy with Craig! I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her college glue stick in hand. I think Trina needs to hydrate, lol. <laughs> hydrate! Everybody hydrate! Burning the midnight art oil. Oh no, I got a double hydrate. Dang, I ain't the thirsty one. What are you on about? One. Two. I'm almost out of hydrate. Oh no. Good thinking, Cryptic. Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Shark Hunter lip sync battles? Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Oh. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. <laughs> this is good art. Look at the good art. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Uh -huh. Yep. The whole thing is about my goals for the future. And those are basically... Just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and... Mutual supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, they're so cute. Bunny be thirsty. I am not thirsty. No. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Oh, dad. You did this with your good art. She pats me on the back. Hey. How is your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? Another hydrate. I'm going to run out of drink. I think I am about to run out of drink. I'm unhydrated! Get more. That was my last can. 
It was my last can. So sadness. Um, I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. I've been drinking a lot. But he has no more drinks. I'm all out of drinks. I'll be thirsty for days. <laughs> oh yeah, how about tomorrow? We had some pre empty parking lots and practice, dare I say. Parallel parking? At least it's not the full on hentai song. We'll be like, oh my god. Okay, baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hay. Date complete. How do we do, everybody? Oh, we got a rank S. Rank is look. Even his freaking his freaking thirsty meter is like getting up there too. We did it. We did it. Yay! Yeah, we Check that out. We did good with the Craig. That was our first date. Right. So I might leave it I might leave it there for now. So we can do some more daddy daddy stuff later. I'll save it soon. But thank you all for coming in and hanging out and going on our first date with Craig. Thank you, B, for the subscription. You're amazing. <laughs> Sorry about the boobs. That's my new thing right now is the boobies. It's my, it's my birthday week. What's the birthday week without the boobies? But any <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Got a bit, got a, got a bit heated in here, I, I think. Got a bit hot and bothery. Love the boobies. Let me allow this. Love the boobies. I'm glad you love the boobies. How many times do I have to say boobies? <laughs> but anyway, thanks for the stream. Oh no, glad I missed it. Yes! Trina was the first one to witness the boobies. And um, I will add all the latest ones who have claimed to be in the giveaways. So we have Trina and Iconic for the NZ giveaway for... Oh, the little bun buns. Hang on, we got one, two, three. All oh, the little bun buns. Oh! Put the bunny back in the box. All right. And B, is, you'll be on the a mystery steam code giveaway when I put that onto the wheel and I will post the wheel on the giveaway section. Uh, so yesterday's winner for day one was Jazzy Boxer. I'm still waiting to hear back for, from him. And I'll take that video on my phone, do the spinny wheel and away you go. Probably be me and Iconic only. Oh, and Cryptic. Thanks for the stream. Thank you all for coming. Make sure you're in the Discord so I can contact you when you get some prizes or you can contact me. Um, I don't think anybody's on, is there? Hang on, let's have a look. Oh my god, stretch. Not really. Not really anybody I know that's on. No, I'm not entered. No, Cryptic's not entered. It's all the goods. Anyway, thank you all for coming, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some Animal Crossing. <laughs> yep, you guys get to see my island. And the mess that it's in right now, because I'm trying to prep for that update. I think I'll be doing it in the afternoon and night time, because I really need to try and get things sorted out. 
Yeah, Animal Crossing! Get it all ready. See my crazy island. Right. Have a good day, night. Animal Crossing stream! Oh my god, yes! What time? Um, okay, I'm, do I'm doing two sessions. Why did I do this? Two. Two sessions, so about the same time as now. So that's 12. 12 for me. 12 p.m. for me. Which was about two hours ago ish. And another one at 9 p.m., which is about 4 a.m. for you. For a few hours. But yeah. Like like Mew says, the schedule is in Discord. Everything is in Discord. All the things are in Discord. <laughs> And yeah, so I will see you at the Animal Crossings. And you guys get to see my island and all the space because I still need to figure out what the heck I'm filling there. Maybe you guys can help me. Anyway, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Whatever it is you are doing. And cheers, Mew Mew, for putting the Discord thing in. I'm still here, but my volume is like, it's all good, Amelia. Make sure you do your, your classes and your studying and get all the good stuffs. I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Bye! I'll see you guys in the Discord probably. Bye! Have a good one everybody! Here is the...